get on like Disney Plus. Ten-year-old Noah Caddis says his iPad is probably the device he uses most often. I just feel like I spend the most time on it because there's like, I watch The Simpsons a lot and I'm watching around two episodes a day. His mom, Leah Caddis, says she does her best to find a healthy balance for her fifth grader, but admits that can be tricky in a world dominated by all things digital. There are so many more options these days that I think that's when as a parent, you just have to really kind of set some ground rules and try to monitor it the best you can. Caddis says she looks closely at how her son is using media, which falls in line with brand new research out of UC that says there are plenty of positives parents should keep in mind with screen time. It's definitely multifaceted. Um, you, you've got to take the good with the bad when it comes with a technology and digital media use. Professor Nancy Jennings is a children's media expert at UC. She just published a survey this week of parents of 9 to 13 year olds and how kids in that tween age group used media during the pandemic. It's no surprise that more than 80 percent of families said children were using more media during COVID-19 than before. But Jennings says that's not all bad and that it's time to shift from thinking that more screen time is always harmful. So the hours itself uh, may not be as problematic or as concerning as thinking about what you're using it for. There's my BFF. There's my mom, my dad, one of my other friends. My son, he's on Kid Messenger. What's nice about that is it's from Facebook, but I monitor everything. Caddis says messaging apps and FaceTime helped Noah stay connected with his friends during a difficult stretch of the pandemic. UC's research says using media at that age for social connections, education, and even a fun distraction from the stress of living in a pandemic are all benefits parents should consider. There are definitely positives that can come out of that kind of use. At UC, Josh Bazan, WCPO 9 News.